Hello. Today we will review Climate Guard Thermal Anemometer. I think a lot of you are familiar with the mechanical anemometers, which have the blades rotating in the airflow. Controller measures blades rotation speed and based on this information calculates airflow rate. In general, thermal anemometer doesn't have any moving parts. One of the sensors is heated up to a certain constant temperature and the second sensor measures temperature of airflow. Based on heated power dissipation required to maintain temperature of the first sensor, controller calculates airflow rate. The most common use case for this device is a monitoring of a ventilation system where durability and trouble-free operation is required. So mechanical thermal anemometer will perform less efficient here since its blades are not designed for a constant operation exposed to dust and mud. Another advantage of a thermal anemometer is quietness and of course compact size. Now let's talk about LineGuard sensor. This is not a plug-and-play product, but more of a modular sensor. Climate Guard offers solutions based on those sensors which allow data gathering and cloud data transfer to a web server with a web interface. If you are interested, you can check out Telegram community. But the anemometer itself is a sensor with a 5 volt power supply. Any logical levels within 3 to 5 volts range are acceptable. The sensor requires four wires for connection. Fifth outlet and socket is used for sleep mode, which will be turned on via application of a high voltage logical level. This functionality was added since the sensor, during its operation, consumes high electrical current up to 300 mA. Please refer to a datasheet for a detailed description of used registers. And the library for the sensor is also available at the GitHub. You can see examples of a connection to ESP8266 or ESP32 or other controllers on the screen. All connection schemes are also available in Git. The device should be positioned perpendicular to airflow, similar to mechanical anemometers with the rotated blades. Controller side should be an airflow facing side. To install the sensor in the ventilation pipe, it's enough to drill a hole of at least 20 mm in the diameter equal to a board width. After that, you need to fixate your device in the pipe such way that both sensors are not adjusted to the pipe. In case of installation in an environment with a high humidity level, it is recommended to apply varnish by either yourself or ask the manufacturer during purchase. The layer of varnish should be thin enough so it will not affect heat emission. After the device is installed, we can see the airflow rate and air temperature. Now let's talk about those measurement accuracy. Here I have an experimental stand and the reference professional hot wire anemometer. Stand consists of a tube, fan, speed controller, shutter and two anemometers we are going to compare. Reference anemometer measurements displayed on the screen on the left and the climate guard anemometer measurements displayed on the smartphone. Several facts may affect the data. For example, if thermal anemometer sensors will touch anything, it will cause heat loss. Also, high humidity will cause extra heat loss affecting reported airflow rate accuracy.
As you can see, climate guard anemometer measurements are really close to the ones reported by a reference professional anemometer within the entire range, which is amazing if you think about its low price and design simplicity. I guess that's it for the video. Please leave a comment or reach out to our Telegram community in case of any questions. And thanks for watching.